Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to do something slightly different than what I've done before here on the channel. Uh, I wanted to talk about Xbox 360 emulation on the Steam Deck. Now I have uh, two uh, Steam Decks here. This is my quarter three Steam Deck. Are you gonna focus? Yeah, this is my quarter three Steam Deck. This is the uh, OLED model. And uh, we're just gonna jump into this. So check this out. I have a bunch of Xbox 360 games uh, in my Steam library here. Let's go over here to my Steam library. We're gonna go over here to uh, non-Steam games, and you can see that we have uh, GoldenEye 007, the Xbox 360 remake. This doesn't work particularly well, but then we have Hydro Thunder Hurricane, and we have Perfect Dark, the Xbox Ar Live Arcade remake, and we have Switchball. Um, now, for what we're gonna do today, I wanted to show you what Xbox 360 emulation is like. Let's run Hydro Thunder real quick. Now this is one of the games that I kept my 360 around for. Um, Hydro Thunder Hurricane is one of the best games ever made somehow. I, I don't quite understand how, uh, but it is freaking amazing. And uh, the audio emulation is flawless. Um, now it does build shaders the first time you play any level on here. But I've played, I've I, like all the progress I've made here is um, this is all like done on the Steam Deck here. Um, so we're gonna play Lake Powell, and uh, we're just gonna do like um, misbehave, I guess. That's a good. That's a good boat. I mean, look at this, guys. Like this is pretty much flawless the only the only like real issue that uh, uh, with xbox 360 emulation i'm gonna turn the volume down slightly here now the only the only issue that there is with uh 360 emulation uh is that there's like a z buffer issue with light sources like light flares and stuff um which yeah, there you go there's a great example those three lights there there they sh you shouldn't be able to see those through the wall because that's actually over here. I missed that toggle. How did I miss that? So yeah, see those more. Those are three lights. There are like a few levels, like uh, Soul uh, City or whatever. That uh, woohoo! I love this game so much. Um, all right, I need my leftover boost here so I can hop this fence. Okay. And so, I mean, this game is super fun. Uh, this is like full Xbox 360 emulation. And we'll talk about how I'm doing this in a minute um, once I'm finished with this level. But I've played through, I've unlocked seven of the nine stages so far, and I've only been doing this for like a few days, like, you know, after work or whatever. Um, oh, yeah, okay. Let's see. I love this game. The sense of uh, the sense of speed is incredible in it. Oh my god! This is the wrong boat to choose. Now, now you see those lights flaring through the. Uh, you should not be able to see those through the wall. But other than that, I mean, it's flawless 360 emulation, dude. And the thing is, you go and look at like the compatibility list for Xenia, which is the emulator I'm using, and these none of these games are listed as working. And just with the 360 or with the uh, my original um, Q3 deck, uh, this wouldn't work. So um, anyway, that's that's that. And I'll show you um, some other games. We're gonna exit the game. We're gonna go over here. Let's try uh, Perfect Dark. Now, Perfect Dark is weird because sometimes it just doesn't load, um, but it did this time. Xbox Live Arcade, you guys see that? Xbox 360 product identification, woo woo, dude. Perfect Dark is also one of my favorite games. Uh, it's probably my favorite um, console shooter after Halo, like the original Halo. Um, but we fully have 
Oh yeah, this is one of the weird things, and you probably can't see this very well, but it says uh, this game has uh, this game has some features which require an Xbox Live enabled gamer profile, but you're currently offline. So uh, there isn't a way to like do this unless you just tap on it. So we're just going to continue playing offline. Um, it would be cool if Xenia could add like controller support for those prompts. Um, those are kind of like system level Xbox 360 prompts, as far as I know. So uh, this it doesn't seem, uh, let's see, it doesn't seem like there's uh, any controller prompts for that yet. But I mean, again, all the progress I've made is, uh, all the progress I've made here is um, stuff I've made on this uh, Steam Deck since I've been playing with Xenia. Now, I don't know if I said this already or not, but uh, this wasn't working on my Q3 Steam Deck. Like, my Q3 Steam Deck? Ugh, I hate having to wait for this dude. Um, my Quarter 3 Steam Deck w ha w had, like, graphical corruption. Uh, and I haven't tried this yet on SteamOS 3.5. So I'm going to uh, try this live for you. Got him. Got him. You get the idea. So, I wanted to go ahead and... Um, do one thing real fast. So we've got the uh, Xbox 360 emulation working here. Uh, I'll show you how I did this. Let's go to our desktop. So the first thing you wanna do is go into Firefox or Chrome if that's what you prefer, and then type in mudeck.com. There we go. Now we're gonna click download, and we're gonna hit SteamOS. Now I've already done this. Um, you can see I've downloaded this twice. Uh, we'll close this. Let's go into our downloads folder. We're gonna click Dolphin. And then we're going to go into downloads. And you can see that there's a little exclamation point. It's just gonna ask you if you wanna execute it because this came from the internet. We're gonna hit execute and we'll hit continue. And I've already got MUDEC installed. So this is going to run the update process for me. Uh, I don't believe there's any updates available though. There are not. So we're back in MUDEC. Now, uh, if you had, um, if you haven't run this before, it's gonna run through the setup process. It's gonna ask you what emulators you want installed. It's gonna ask you where you want your uh, ROMs directory to be, and then it will do all of that for you. Um, now, you can see here, we're gonna go to manage emulators, and if we scroll down to uh, Xenia, we can click manage, and we can install it from here. Now, I've already got Xenia installed, and this is an Xbox 360 emulator, and it's pretty nice, um, but it also is experimental, so a lot of games don't work very well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that because we don't need it anymore. Now, the next thing to do is we're going to copy our games to our uh, Steam Deck. Now, I've got my games installed in my uh, SD card and they're under emulation, ROMs, and you scroll down to Xbox 360 and then ROMs. And you can see here we've got uh, Hydra Thunder Hurricane, Perfect Dark, and Switchball. Now, you can choose to have your ROMs and what have you uh, installed in your home directory on the internal storage. Um, I believe that's going to be under home, uh, emulation, or emudeck, and then wherever wherever it's set up. It, it will tell you when you set it up. I don't know off the hand where that goes. Um, so I'm going to go over here to Steam ROM Manager now, because you know you can you can like launch your games through, uh, Xenia here. But uh, if you want to run them in Steam, I find the best way to do it is to use Steam ROM Manager. So we're going to uh, hit yes to dis to close Steam here um, because Steam ROM Manager needs to modify some files. And now that it's closed, we're gonna, I only have um, Xbox 360, I think, uh, enabled, yes. So I only have Xbox 360 Xenia and Xbox 360 Xenia XBLA, which is Xbox Live Marketplace. And so what we can do here is we can go to preview and what it's gonna do is search for our, uh, it's gonna search through our games um, that we have installed and then it will download all the images and then once it's done, we can save to Steam and we'll have those games saved. So we're gonna hit parse and there we go. We have default Dan, which is not correct. Um, what the heck is default Dan? Oh yeah, I know what that is. That's uh, GoldenEye007. And now that we have this, uh, ready, we can you know go through here and we can choose 
other box art that's available through Steam Grid DB. You can see there's three of five. They're all basically the same though. That's an ugly one. Uh, and you know, we can choose different uh, box art. You know, this one is actually more similar to the uh, 360s box art. And we have Switch Ball as well. And now that we're done, we can hit Save to Steam. I'm not gonna do that because I've already customized how this looks and I don't wanna change it. Um, I've got this customized in Steam itself, not here. So we can hit Save to Steam, boom, then we're done. Now we can go back into game mode by logging out and uh, playing the games through there. All right, so I almost forgot to actually test this guy. Um, so I have, I put my uh, SD card in here, and this is my uh, Steam Deck uh, LCD model from quarter three of last year. Uh, so I've got uh, a few games on here. Let's try, well, I mean, let's try, I have a lot more uh, non-Steam games on this device. Let's try Switchball. So I'm guessing that there was a, um, a driver update for with SteamOS 3.5.5 that fixed the graphical corruption that was going on. It was very strange because it was literally a triangular, like from top right to bottom left, uh, corruption that only filled that half of the screen. Um, so when I would try to play it on here, on the quarter three before SteamOS 3.5 came out, the, uh, the game would not work. Man, the thumbsticks on the LCD model are so different. <laughs> um, interesting, let's bring up the... Um, I can tell you right now that this is not... Uh, this is 30 FPS, really? Okay. It feels significantly less than 30 FPS. Well, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't really. But, I don't know. It doesn't feel like 60, I can tell you that. Because it's not. Yeah, this is, this is nice. Man, I'll tell you what. Nostalgia, dude. This game... When I first played this game... Um... It was... Man, I don't even know. It was around the, the first couple... It was the first few years. I mean, it was of the 360's life, and it was like, right when this game came out, and I bought it on Xbox Live Arcade. So, I lived with my friends, uh, in this, like, old, like, mobile home, and, uh, we worked at McDonald's together, and it was just one heck of an experience, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I don't miss those days, but I do miss those guys. <laughs> So this is working. That's pretty cool. That uh, that makes me happy. Again, I have uh, wanted to be, be able to play Xbox 360 games on my Steam Deck for a while, and now it's entirely possible. Uh, I mean, not every game is going to work, obviously. Like, uh, there's still some compatibility issues with a lot of games. Xenia is still um, extremely experimental. But a lot of them are working now. Um, this is, I'm, I believe I'm using the Canary release. It's whatever uh, Emu deck actually does. And this game doesn't seem to have any graphical issues at all. This is one of the earliest Xbox Live releases as far as I know. Um, it's the first one I remember playing myself. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, you can uh, like that smash button to stay up to date with all the fun stuff I'm doing here. It's funny because uh, like that smash button is the wrong thing to say. Like it, that's objectively the wrong one. And yet uh, I have to think about it because that's not what I say here on the channel. <laughs> anyway, like that smash button. Thanks for watching guys. Get subscribed if you're not already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.